Hey folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this for your ATEM. Let's go. All right, folks, so this is a cool little trick that you can do with your ATEM. I've been playing around with this for so long and just never documented it and kind of woke up and I said, let me just make a quick video on how to do this. Now, you can make this with any... Um, photo editor. I'm using Photoshop. You can use GIMP. You can use Canva. As long as Canva, you have a way to make your export transparent. You need to be able to do that. All right. So let's go over to the computer. All right. So I'm here in Photoshop. I'm going to make a new document. I'm going to do 1920 by 1080 because that is my setup for the eight to many extreme. All right. Now we have our basic layer right here. That's white. I don't want this. So let's make a new layer here and trying to eyeball this. And I want to make this be the exact center of the screen. So maybe something like that. And I'm just going to paint this as black. All right. And can we make sure that we're in the center? I always forget the command to do this. So we're going to select all and I don't know. I guess it's at the center. <laughs> we'll figure it out. All right. So now that I got this, I'm going to do this as simple as possible for you to see. So I'm going to turn off this background layer. So now everything is transparent. You can make this as cute and as nice as you want. So let's say why don't I bring in um, some graphics? How about that? Just so you show how we can do this. So let's bring in my AJ to CEO um, logo. Oh no, the modern media ministry. That would be good. Let's drag this over here. And you see, we got this. So I'm actually going to keep it this way. And I'm going to widen that bar out so that it takes up the entire part of this. So let's transform this, scale it. I'm going to make it the full width of the modern media ministry made easy and just make it real simple. Nothing really complex. All right. So now let's go ahead and export this or save it as a PNG. So I'll call this DVE number two because I already made one here. And we want to make sure it's a PNG and it's transparent. We can tell by that little checkerboard. All right. So now let's bring over our ATEM software. And the way this is going to work, if we go to first, we need to, in our transition type, we go to DVE. Let's go to platelets, uh, palettes, excuse me. And now under our transitions, we're going to go to DVE. Now, by default, this normally would be off. So you just got to make sure you turn it on. And then we also want to say we want to turn on enable our key and we're going to use media player one, media player two. It doesn't really matter. We're going to say media player one. All right. That's all we have to do to set this up. Now, there's some more stuff you can play around with, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just showing you the basics. Let's go to our media player first. And well, actually, let's go to the media player because we need to load our image here. So let's go back to the desktop of this new one that we just made. I'm just going to drag this into position number six and boom, there we go. So now let's go back to our switcher, go to our media players. And I want to select that DVE2, the file I just copied over, which is now our, um, it's queued up for our media player, which is what this DVE transition is going to use. So as of right now, I'm going to be switching back to the main camera with all this set up. All we got to do now is hit auto and there we go. There's the new transition with that. So let me actually pick the same camera and let's do it again. We're just going to run it again. And that's what we're using as a transition. Now I'm going to switch over to the one that I made it has a little bit more shadow effects and all this other stuff that you can design and more detail. 
So if I do this, as you can see, it's my new logo. You can do a bunch of stuff, the church's name, whatever from a static image. So really, really straightforward. You just got to make sure that the image is transparent. Um, I like to, you can make it a little bit wider, but you know, you, you play around with, you understand the concepts. It needs to be transparent. You have your design. The background needs to be transparent. You load it into your media player. Under the transition, under the palettes, you go to transitions, you go to DVE, turn on the effects, pick which media player you've signed your image to, and then that's it. And set your transition to DVE, and then you can do this all day long. All right. So, really straightforward. Let me know if you have any other questions. This technically should work with all of the ATEMs ATEM Mini, ATEM Mini Pro. A to mini extreme, A to mini extreme, ISO, all of those as well too. Now, I want to play with this at my church when I get a chance to see if it works with the ATEM Television Studio HD. I believe it should, but don't hold me to it. So if you have any other questions, let me know down below. Hopefully this helps you out and maybe a little, put a little spice to your um, transitions that you have at your ministry. If you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. We will catch you on the next video later.